Good girl. 99.1. Good. That's good. No fever, Zelly. Is that maybe? I just gave her Tylenol. Yeah, that could be. I just have to record, I believe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, see your hand. Get her oxygen and pulse. Hold on, it's okay. Look. Mama, look, it's so nice. Patty cake, the patty cake, the bakers, me. Pay me a cake as fast as you can. A roll, up, a roll. <laughs> Be done in the paint. Sun, black, it's hot. Sun, black, it's cool. Sun, black, it's in the pot. Nine days up. Oxygen's good, 99, pulse 129, good. So guys, we are at the urgent care. The only thing is that it's like, mm. what time? Like 7.30 around there. I don't know if pharmacies are open, so if they end up giving her a prescription. I don't know if there's gonna be a pharmacy open, but good news, she doesn't have a fever. Her, oxy her oxygen levels are normal. So now they're gonna come in and test her for Flu, strep, RSV, you know, all that stuff. Hey, girl. How are you just so perfect? You're perfect, little girl. Huh? You're perfect, little girl. Mommy had to wake you up, huh? You're feeling better? You're feeling better? You're going to feel better, okay? Mommy's going to make sure you feel better. Hopefully she gets some sleep in tonight because last night she did not sleep at all, you guys. Like at Oh no, there's two more. I'm not going far on this one.
I'm gonna go ahead and give you the, the, the machine here and then I'm sending the albedo to the house, to the pharmacy, okay? And also the antibiotics. If they're not ready tonight, you can wait until tomorrow, no problem. Just first thing in the morning, go pick it up, okay? Okay. Um, do the nasal saline spray, the nasal suction, continue. You can go ahead and do some Tylenol, Motrin, because she's not feeling well, especially Motrin because of the ear. Motrin? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Absolutely. They're good at 99%. So I'll send the um, amoxicillin. Go ahead and do it twice a day for 10 days. Make sure you use the nasal saline spray, suctioning. Do the Motrin every six to eight hours to, for comfort for the ear, okay? And then start the amoxicillin. She has RSV. Mm -hmm. and, and then she has a new infection because of all the mucus and all that you know creates a virus. I'm so sorry That's but at least we know what we're dealing with yeah okay. nice what's up you guys so today is day two of zelly being sick um i feel like it's day three really um because i feel like day one started off like earlier that day but this is technically day two or three i don't know let's just say day two of zelly being sick um as you guys know from the last clips then you guys know my baby girl has rsv and she has an ear infection and honestly i'm sorry mommy i'm sorry you have to go through this right now guys i'm like getting emotional because like every time i hear of rsv i hear of just like scary stories like scary stories and i just hate that my daughter has to go through this i hate that like you know she's so young and she can't you know she can't really like explain to me how she feels like she can't tell me what she's feeling she can't tell me if she doesn't like something if she needs something like she can't tell me anything so it's like so hard for me to deal with this it's really stressful i'm not gonna lie like whoever's watching this like if you guys could just take a moment and pray for my baby because i really like hope that she just feels better and i just want her to you know i want her to be okay i want her to be okay guys like this is not fair like they told me it was rsv i was like no way like no way no way no way i never experienced anything like this with zacchaeus um never in my life experienced anything like this i didn't even know exactly what rsv was well of course i knew what it was but i really only knew like the scary stories like you always hear rsv being so like scary you know especially in babies so young but apparently it's something common and especially right now it's like the season it's like a lot of kids are sick you know i'm just pray for all these babies out there anyone who's sick like i just pray that you guys feel better you guys fight through because you know we're all so strong but these babies are not as strong as we are so so i know i told you guys that the first night was really you know hard she didn't sleep um my baby you're tired she didn't sleep um you know, we were up all night trying to do everything, you know, humidifier, the steam shower, um, sucking out her boogers with like the nose Frida, just all of that. We were doing all of that and just nothing helped, like nothing. So then yesterday all day, I gave her some Tylenol because I felt like she was getting a fever. She was getting really warm and that made her feel better for a little bit. And I also did that orange hack with like the orange and the salt and you put it in the microwave and you squeeze the juices and you give it to her i'm not gonna lie i feel like that helped a little bit too but um i took her to the urgent care last night they told me she had rsv they told me she had an ear infection and so they told me to give her some motrin for the ear infection they prescribed her some amoxicillin so i went to go get the amoxicillin and they also gave me a free um nebulizer because as you guys saw like earlier in the video they did a neb treatment on her and so since that nebulizer treatment worked really good on her they gave me one so god bless them because wow that was so sweet of them i was like i'm gonna order one on amazon she was like no 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 i'm gonna give you one i was like you are such an angel but yeah so they gave me the nebulizer 
um, they said do it every four to six hours, but really six. So last night they did it at the urgent care at like 8.30 and then we did it at like 2.30 in the morning. She was sleeping, but I had the like neb treatment by her, as you guys can see right here. And honestly, that is a miracle thing. Like, I feel like that works so good. Like, last night, my baby got some sleep. So I'm so grateful. I'm so happy I decided to even take her to the urgent care because if it wasn't for me taking her, I wouldn't have known she has RSV and an ear infection. So I order so much things. Like when your babies are sick, I feel like we buy so much and even over buy sometimes and don't use everything you buy. But I bought some Motrin. I bought some probiotic baby drops. I bought some elderberry drops. I bought... Mm, I also bought some saline spray, she didn't have that. I bought some Zarbies cough syrup. I really hate Zarbies because they don't work. I, I'm sorry, this is just my personal preference. I know it's natural, I know it's organic, and that's why everyone loves it. But because it's so natural and organic, it takes so much longer to like work. I feel like it doesn't really work. But you know she's already on amoxicillin and stuff so i don't want to give her no extra medicine that has like all these you know chemicals like mucinex or like you know even though mucinex is not even for her age but you know what I, you know what i mean guys so i got her those arby's um just to do a little something and then i got her these organic bedtime drops um i gave her some of this last night and maybe she, this okay so it says plus overnight immunity support promotes restful sleep with natural herbs immunity i mean it supports immunity with elderberry and vitamin c melatonin free this thing probably was one of the reasons um she was asleep for a while but also i had the humidifier on i um put vix all over her chest all over her back all over her feet with her socks on so she had a way better sleep last night than day one because night one was terrible. I'm going to be consistent for you guys, so I'm definitely going to keep y'all updated on everything with my baby girl. Most likely just going to put her for a bedtime nap right now. I'm going to take a nap right now, mama. Oh, another thing. She ate today. She ate her whole entire, like, apple puree. Um... She, you know, I'm giving her her little soft foods because usually in the morning she eats like bread, banana, avocado, yogurt, like a, a whole course meal, <laughs> five course meal. But today I only gave her some like light, something soft for her to just eat. You may know you're not feeling good, mommy, but you're going to feel better. And what's sad about this RSV stuff, you know, I did a little more research about it. And like, no matter how much like medicine I give her, or treatments I do or like the amount of care or whatever the virus is still gonna run its course like it's still gonna go for 10 days 10 to 14 days or 7 to 10 days I don't know and she's gonna be sick the entire time but I guess everything I'm gonna do is just to make her you know feel a little bit better but she's it's gonna go run its course and that's the worst thing that I heard because like what no matter what I do like she's still gonna be sick this is not a regular cold where, you know, oh, my baby, this is really sad for me. We had some plans for Christmas, you know, canceled for sure. Um, everything we had planned canceled, but that's not why I'm sad. I'm sad because, like, my baby is sick. She's nine months old, you know? When I'm sick, I'm a baby. Imagine her. So that's just one thing that's like really getting to me a lot right now. And I'm just gonna, oh look, she fell asleep already. I'm just gonna try to just get through this. <clears throat> I'm gonna stay strong because you know, she needs it. She needs me to be strong for her. And of course I need to stay strong for my other baby. I'm not trying to have him get sick at all. Like, you know. <laughs> He needs to, I'm going to make sure he's taking some vitamin C, some zinc. Doesn't get sick. I don't need him getting sick. Because that will be crazy. But usually, you know, like when someone in the house is sick, it's kind of like a domino effect. And do, 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 everyone gets sick. But Lord, please don't do that to us. Please. 
Oh, but yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna end this video right here. This is really just a video, you know, to update you guys about Zeliana, to let you know what's going on. She was really, really sick. I thought she just had like a cold or something. Turns out she has RSV and an ear infection. So if y'all moms or dads out there, you know, have some good like home remedies or like any recommendations that you guys think I should do uh, for Zelly, then please comment down below and let me know. I'm so open to hearing everything because I know every household has something different that they do or even your natural remedies that you guys do and work. Let me know if that like potato in the sock thing works or the onions in the sock. Like I saw some like garlic paste thing that you make with coconut oil. Like let me know everything, like every single thing. Let me know. I'm so open to hearing it all because I want my baby girl to be better, to feel better so that we can all be great. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at rxc underscore xoxo. But I love you guys. Peace.